Hey everybody, how's it going? Today is September 7th, 2023. It's a Thursday, you know what that means. Monster Strike News. Let's get going because we have a few new things that are uh, popping up with the collab that I want to make sure that you do not miss out on. So let's get going. Uh, there will be a new area opening up for the Kingdom collab and we are going to be defending the four walls of the, uh, what, Forbidden City, I guess? Well, we're just going to be doing some defense here. Uh, basically, there are four walls, north, south, east, and west. Uh, each wall has a chance to activate a big struggle, right? Dai Funto, it says in the gold-plated area you see in the uh, first, uh, I guess, squared off area there. Um, if you get that Dai Funto uh, roll, then you will get the items you see in that golden area. Now, you can modify these chances a little bit, and depending on if luck is on your side, you just might get those items pictured there. It is not guaranteed though, and it is completely random, so again, uh, just hope that Lady Luck is on your side. This area will open up on the 9th of September, midnight Japan time, and make sure you don't miss out on doing that. Now, let's talk about a little bit about how this mechanic works. I said. Uh, there's something called a Dai Punto, like a great struggle, a great battle. Um, and when that happens, only when that happens, will you be able to get the items pictured found on that particular wall. Otherwise, you will get the Punto reward, which is in green on top, and that will just get you soul points. 2,500 soul points um, is your minimum uh, reward for defending the wall. Now, what is this percentage chance? It's completely random, like I said. You can see on the right side that it could be 10%, 20%, 40%, 60%. And not sure if it's going to be the same for everybody, if it's just gonna rotate, and you have to figure out you know, when things just roll to 60%, do you want to go for that one? Uh, but I want to repeat again, it is completely random, and it changes each day, midnight, Japan time it will switch and you can choose a wall that meets your needs based on the percentages you see on them so again for example if you got the 60% great there's a 60% chance you'll get the items pictured in the gold area for this wall in particular right the south wall you get the chance of getting either the balance type or the power type scroll so very interesting uh, gimmick. And it's not that complicated, so stay tuned. Now, in addition to picking which wall you want to defend, you also have a, uh, I don't even know what the right, Tai, Tai, Komai? I forget. Cool. Komai? But there's, you know, you're going to be using a strategy here as well, and you have a limit on which uh, options you want to choose. The red one is just your standard one. You can use this three times. When you use this, you get no bonus at all. Just use this if you have no choice and you maybe have a, uh, just, you just want to go with the default. You want you don't want to use the abilities in the next two that I'm about to talk about. The blue ability here, which has Shin's picture on it, right? You can only use this two times uh, during these days. And don't worry, there are seven days in total, so you, you're going to use everything up in the end. Um, but you can only use this two times, but when you do use it, you will get double the drops from the wall reward. So, um, obviously you'd probably want to use this when you have a 60% chance on an item that you really want. Uh, you'll get double drops for that if, uh, you know, again, you have to hit the percentage first to get the reward. Right? There's still a 40% chance of failing, but I guess you'd also get double the uh, soul points instead. So uh, keep that in mind for what Shin's button there. You can only use it twice. And the last option in yellow is the King Dai-O, right? And he also has two usages of this ability. And what this does is that it doubles the chance of getting the displayed item. So um, you got a 40% chance there, you can double it to 80%. You got the 60%, you can make it 100% because you want to make sure you get that for sure. Um, so uh, very important 
thing, you know, if you just want to make sure you're guaranteed to get that item, great. You can also opt to use Shin to just maybe like, okay, 60% is good enough. Let's roll for it. You can't use two at once though, right? Only one ability is usable per day. So you're going to have to pick and choose which one you want to use. And again, don't forget about the limits. You only have two for blue and yellow respectively. And then otherwise you'll default to the red, which does not give you any bonuses in general. Now the rewards for the items are fixed here as you can see based on which wall you want to defend. Like I said earlier, the percentages of getting these items is going to be random. All walls default to the soul points on the green side. Again, if you just get the Funto reward, you will only get 2500 points. Only when you get lucky and the percentage that is displayed hits in your favor will you get the rewards in red. Again, one wall per day. Now, as part of this new area, we will be getting a new character from the Kingdom collab, and that is Ace here in the Light Element. And you will be getting 25 copies of him per day for participating in that for each day's worth of activity, right? So day one, when you select a red, blue, yellow, or button, you will get 25 copies of Ace here. Day two, again, 25 copies until the fourth day, which will get you a total of 100 luck, which is great, max luck. You only have to do this for four days if you want to get him to max luck. Now there are additional rewards after that. Day five, you get an alternate strike shot vice for him. Day six, you participate, will get you a special title. And then day seven gets you a nice little badge that you can put next to your name when you play Cole. So don't miss out. Again, there's only seven days um, once this area is active. So you cannot miss a day. Uh, if you want to get all the rewards, you can miss a few if you just want to get the max luck. And of course, as is the case with collabs in general, since he is a mission monster, if you use him during the collab at any time, he will be functioning as a max luck monster. But remember, after this collab, you want to make sure to keep him at max luck so that he actually functions. We did get the new announcement of another insidious quest for the collab. It will feature the Boku here in the light element. And this one is not a farmable quest. You only need to clear this uh, technically once if it's, you know, if you meet the requirements. Uh, but you will get 50 drops for him for each clear up to your third clear of the quest. So again, at most, you will only need to clear this quest three times if you want to get everything out of it. And you really don't need to do it three times if you don't really want to because the only reason why you'd want to do it three times is that you can get a badge for uh, him here. Now, is he gonna be good enough? Who knows, I'm sure people will be uh, looking at his stats very soon once it gets updated into the game. But uh, you do have the ability to give him a badge once you feed him uh, another 99 mark. And like I said, there is a chance that you only need to do it once because there is a mission attached to this quest. And all you need to do is clear this quest with at most one dark element monster in your team, right? Again, dark elements will have the elemental effectiveness against him and the rest of the stage. I'm going to take that away from you and see if you can't clear it with that uh, handicap on you. Clearing this mission will not only get you a max luck monster of him right off the bat, you'll get an alternate strike shot voice and there it is, you get the Kingdom Collab uh, Strikers card as well. Here's a little bit of a close up on the Strikers card. If this is what you want, then make sure you get that mission done before the end of the collab. And then we'll go into regular Monster Strike news. The 10th is coming up and that of course means we've got a Tokudama waiting for you so that you can pull on the collab gacha for a free single pull. For all those other other items you see there, uh, you got the Miracle Min and the Travel Bell. And for those of you who have three or more lucky monsters, you can also pick up two Waku Waku Mins for your stock. September 14th will feature level 49 of the Uncharted Lands, Mikai no Daichi. We're almost at 50, so we'll see if there's any big uh, changes happening once we get that far. I don't know. But uh, it will be interesting to see once we hit 50 
pretty insane we've already gotten that far. Now, we got the announcement of a first Get Gacha, which is always interesting. For those of you who have a fully uh, developed box, this might be an interesting prospect as the chances of you getting a limited monster that you might not have could be going higher and higher here. Uh, this gacha does include limited monsters as part of it and you are guaranteed to get one new monster that you do not have in your box, uh, which is very nice. You get to do this twice, once on the 9th of September, once on the 10th of September. Uh, you have to do it on that day. It'll be available for 24 hours. Each person can do it once. And uh, of course, very big reminder in red that this does cost orbs. Again, be careful. Make sure you uh, are sound about your decisions on when you want to pull. If you are just starting this game, I would not pull this gacha at all. That really does not help you uh, because you have so many monsters that you don't have, right? So I would say wait until Legends at the end of the month. Like I said, a good chance we are getting a new character for the Legends Choju Shinsai gacha, as well as the fact that a collab is almost certainly going to be de declared at the 10 year event anniversary and might just start at midnight as well. So, um, cause, well, they're crazy like that lately. So, anyways, 9th and 10th of September, Japan time, midnight. Uh, do not miss out on that if you are interested. We got a transcension today and there are three monsters left after this. We are going to see Kihatsu getting his transcension here. We've got a demi Hume balance type here and anti-block, super anti-wind, uh, anti-magic circle on the main. We've got super anti-warp, repeat e killer M and strike shot turn reducer on the gauge. Strike shot speed and power up and will paralyze the enemies when you hit them on their weak point. Uh, bump combo, we've got the Chozetsu all range bullet and here's the first on the Chozetsu level that we get the status effect recovery blast there. It will be interesting to see how much that factor increases as well as the effective size of the blast. So there you go for Kihatsu. He is one of the last ones to get a transcension. We, again, we are only down to three left. Uh, but we also got a Transcension Kai and that will go to Jupiter, Jupiter here, uh, Yupiteru in Japanese, right? She's going to get a Transcension Kai here. We've got the Deity Super Blast type here. We've got Super Mind Super EL and interesting, that's the only ability on the main. The rest are on the gauge. You've got Anti-Block, Inner Strength M and the Dash. And then for the Connect skill, he has, she has Super Anti-Speed Down Wall and Anti-Transport Wall. Very interesting to see two of the newer abilities, or sorry, gimmicks there. Uh, but you see that red lettering there. The requirement is an AND requirement. You need to have two or more non-Deity class monsters as well as two or more non-Blast type monsters in your party. Uh, always a pain when you see that, but of course, you know, keep in mind when they do that and it is on the stronger side for the abilities and to get both speed down wall and transport walls as part of her innate connect skill. Remember, you can't get ability locked with your connect skill if it's active. So very interesting uh, decision there. We'll see if it makes up for the difficult connect skill uh, requirement. There. Strike chat, we've got speed power up and the Every time you bounce off of an enemy, there will be a lightning attack that falls down. For her bump combos, we've got the Scramble Laser EL as well as the Super Bound Bomb. And that's it for today. We've got next news coming at the same time as usual. So tune in here for the next news. And here are next week's lucky monsters if you need them. And that's it. <laughs> and that's it for me today. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'm more than happy to answer them for you. And of course, if you have not done so already, consider hitting the like button and subscribing as well. You're not going to get any better English uh, translations of the news than here. So make sure you tune in uh, for the next news. Uh, again, assuming everything goes smoothly, I will try to make sure to stream that event as much as possible, the 10 year anniversary event. So we'll have an enjoyable evening together. And again, more, I don't know, it happens to me more and more that, you know, the videos get copyright claimed and I have to shut it down. 
uh, always a shame when that happens. But you know, if you can't stay up late, do consider joining in with me then at the end of the month. So, uh, ENG Mons, Twitter, all of the slides are already up there. You can check it out uh, at any time you want. And of course, the Discord channel is available for you to talk with other folks who love the game and speak English as well. So, that's it for me today. Thank you for watching, and until next time, bye bye.